Hey you guys, it is another car vlog. You guys looking like a ratchet mess. It's raining outside. Normally you see me with sunglasses on, but like I said in my other video, it was starting to rain and I ran right out of the house without my sunglasses. Okay, so somebody came and knocked on my friggin' window and asked me to move my car. I don't exactly know where the hell they expect me to move my car because of all this construction. So I don't know what to say, but I know the first person who hits me, I'm suing. I mean, I'm just saying. So, anyway, welcome back, you guys. Anyway, welcome back, you guys. Oh, anyway. Oh, this hair is a hot mess. Anyway, I wanted to say, I'm looking for my phone down here and I have it. Today is, I don't even know the date. All I know, today marks one year of your girl not smoking a freaking cigarette yes yes i know applaud for me yay 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 i have not had a cigarette in one year i can honestly say i have not relapsed although i've been wanting to relapse but i have not relapsed at all not even a drag not even have a cigarette not even a piece of cigarette not even an e-cigarette not even any kind of cigarette or anything else for that matter your girl is tobacco free one whole year and I can tell you it feels great now um, I quit cold turkey your girl had um, a year this time I was actually in the carpool line I had three cigarettes left. I used to smoke, smoke Newport. Um, and then it got really bad where I'd be like, I want a Newport 100. So I was at the point where I would smoke me some Newport 100s. But I was not a bad smoker. Like I could smoke. I could go through a pack in a week. Most people go through a pack in a day or two. So I, I mean, I wasn't bad, bad. But I had to smoke every time that I got in the car. And I wasn't going to smoke around my kids. So when my kids were in the car, I was going to, you know, I was smoking. And basically, I just got tired of, for one, buying the cigarettes. Because here in North Carolina, the last time that I bought a cigarette last year, a pack was like 605 or something. I got tired of buying cigarettes. I got tired of losing a lighter. Um, I got tired of the lighters running out of um, juice. <laughs> um and I just got tired of smoking. My car would smell like smoke. My clothes would smell like smoke. My hair would smell like smoke. I just didn't want to smoke. I just got to the point where I was like, you know what? I didn't want to smoke anymore. It was taking a toll on my lungs. Like I wasn't getting bronchitis or anything. But I could tell me walking a short distance um, was definitely taking a toll on me. Like I would be like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um and then I could hear myself wheezing when I'm laying down. And I'm like, this is totally not, you know, cool. And then, you know, I have kids that I want to, I don't want to increase like a chance of getting any kind of lung cancer or anything. You know, I have kids and my daughter kept saying, mommy, when are you going to quit? And I kept saying, after this pack, after this pack. And I kept being like being more and more stressed out. And then i'd be like yeah i'm gonna quit and then she'd be like i thought you were gonna quit and i was like yeah after this pack and that went on like five packs in a row that she was like i thought you're gonna quit and i never quit so finally um one day in my um carpool like pulling around to the school like where i am now um before i got on school property because there's no smoking on school property i grabbed a cigarette pack and i was like let me just smoke a quick cigarette before i get in the carpool line but I grabbed that pack and I sat there and I looked at those three cigarettes that I had left. And you know what? I took them and my mom was in the car with me and I took them and I literally took it out and I broke those three in half. And then she happened to have like a Wendy's bag or something that we had um, in the car. And I threw the whole box in the Wendy's bag and that was it. I have never touched another cigarette since. Um, I know for the first three or four months, I still wheezed and coughed and like I was still smoking and then, <laughs> you know, like I was coughing up my lung and stuff. But I think because my lungs were like healing or something or trying to get back their oxygen or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. But um, I was definitely going through the freaking motions. I was going through the non-cougher, 
non-smoking cough. I had that smoker's cough, but I wasn't smoking anymore. It was weird. Um, a year later, I do notice occasionally still some wheezing, a little bit of wheezing when I'm laying down, but I definitely notice now that, I don't know if your lungs ever heal or whatever happens to them, um, that I do have a lot more breath in me. I can take a deep breath now. I just notice overall, like I'm not worn out after walking a certain distant not worn out my I can breathe still like it's just doesn't feel like a weight on my chest like it did so anybody and I did this cold turkey so I know not everybody can do a cold turkey um I smoked on and off for oh god like <clears throat> eight years so I wasn't smoking when I was like 13 smoke on and off like I would smoke for six months stop and go on and off on and off on and off so I wasn't a constant smoker so I don't know if it was just easy for me to quit cold turkey like I said not a lot of people can just be like screw it some people I know are on those e-cigs or whatever and I just am not putting that up to my mouth I heard those things taste worse than a cigarette um I don't know how I'm able to do it cold turkey so I did a cold turkey and I'm not gonna pick up the habit I know you're probably like oh you quit it before you could do it again no actually this is the longest that I've gone without smoking a cigarette so if I was gonna smoke by now as bad as the year that I've had last year and these past couple of months here that just, like had me over the top stressed out I would have picked up a cigarette by now but I actually did not pick up a cigarette and I'm so so happy that I actually fought the cigarette demon because let me tell you guys, I'm not going to lie, there was plenty of times that I'm just like, somebody just give me one cigarette. But I know that if I would have smoked one cigarette, it would have led to a pack. So, I made it through. And I'm so proud of myself. So, to me, just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm sitting here in the carpool line. Look, a shout out from hell. Um, yeah, so I'm very proud of myself. So, I am going to toot my own horn. Toot toot on this one. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. As you can see back there, that sky is getting really dark. And I hope I um, get home before the sky drops again. Got about 20 minutes before the kids get out of school. So, I'm really praying that I don't get soaking wet again. So, yeah. So, you guys, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget, there is a giveaway going on my channel for one, I was like this, one, one, $100 Visa gift card for when I get to 400 subbies. So, yep. And I will go ahead and link that video. It will pop up on the screen somewhere between here and the end of the video. The only thing you have to do is just click on that video and it will take you there. And you just put in two dollar signs and it will register you, register you, yeah, <laughs> in the entry. And yep, that is it, you guys. I gotta do something with this hair. I will see you guys later. Bye.